Julia, congratulations on the win. Uh, Thank this you. This was a long time coming and getting to the UFC. Was this everything it whipped up to? It was amazing. I, um, I still feel on cloud nine. I feel like it's so surreal. I'm going to wake up any minute, um, even after the fight. So it might have been a long time coming, but there's still a long time for me to be here. Yeah. So I'm just going to ride the wave, man. It seemed like you had a lot of fun this week. And even in the cage, it looked like you and Panny were, were having a great time out there as you guys were you know, punching each other in the face. Uh, did, did, is, that, is that accurate? Did you feel that way in the cage? Oh, it was wonderful. Um, I called it from the beginning. I knew we were going to beat the hell out of each other. And there's so much respect there. That girl's got a hell of a jab. And um, and I know she respected me. Uh, she might have taunted me a little bit. But I think, I, I, I think we had a good exchange in there. It was a lot of fun. Were you surprised you didn't get the finish? Um, I think I dropped her a couple of times. I, I wanted to, to play with my prey a little bit. Um, so I wanted to show that I was a well-rounded fighter. So there were a couple of times that I did drop her, and I know I could have finished it, but I wanted to showcase my, my ground skill. Obviously, it was not that great because I didn't get the finish, but hey, <laughs> it's all good. Where was I? I was playing on the slots. And then <laughs> I here at New York, New York, and um, I was like, hey, that's an earthquake. And I stood up, and my husband threw a fit, and he's like, we're all going to die. And uh, I was like, everyone, no, we're OK. Just stay away. I like instructed people on safety. And then I put on my Instagram like proper uh, um, earthquake etiquette. Can you so. explain how much, why, why you know so much about earthquakes? Oh, I know so much about earthquakes because I have my degree in geology, and I interned as a seismologist for the USGS. Um, and I did a little bit of programming uh, with my internship. Or I'm sorry, it wasn't for the USGS, but I worked with um, in college. So that was only a summer. I'm not an expert by any means, but uh, yeah, I'm a geologist. So yes, I work for an oil company now, and um, that's my day job. That's what I continue to be. And on Monday, my coworkers are going to need maps, so that's what I'm going to be doing. <laughs> you have to go right back to work on Monday. Yes, sir. Yeah, I don't take any time off. I'll I'll be running tomorrow morning um, before my flight, and then you know, go home and live life like it's normal, because <laughs> it is. Yes, ma'am, I'm always, uh, I've, I've told everyone, I'm a student before an athlete, and, um, sorry, and I intend to continue my career as long as I can responsibly handle it. No, sir, um, these earthquakes are just geologic events, there's nothing to do with uh, any oil business or anything. But you're, but you're, I, mean, I, enjoy this kind of I do, I enjoy it so much. Yeah. I was looking um, on the maps and seeing what was happening, where the fault system was at. It wasn't on the San Andreas, so don't be expecting the big one or anything. So you guys are, are good. Are we safe now for the rest of the weekend here in Las Vegas? Will there be another money thing? Um, I don't know. <laughs> uh, earthquakes are not predictable, so <laughs> we'll see. Everybody at the school watching the fight tonight? Are they all you? Everyone that I know was watching tonight. Um, I know there was a couple watch parties. I know my company. A lot of people actually came. There was a huge showing here, so I'm very honored and blessed. And um, yeah, a lot of lot of people here. My mommy's here. I, I can't wait to see her. I, I expect them to treat me just like any other day, but I know that they're going to walk with their heads a little high and be proud of me. So. I work for Chesapeake Energy, uh, but yeah, it's a major oil, oil and gas company in Oklahoma City. Um, so everyone buy stock. In, in the next six months? Uh, prepping, hopefully for another fight. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't come out injured this time. You know, last year was a bad year for my hands, so uh, I'm ready. Any, any cards you're looking at? I know this is so fresh, but is there any you know, events that you're looking at? Any place Whatever God throws at me. Yeah. How are you celebrating? I want a mimosa. I really. <laughs> I can tell you're pretty I, I really want a mimosa. I got that brunch fight. You know, I first fight of the night, and so um, just one mimosa, and I'll be fine. Five, five stitches. I don't know. Was it a punch or was, did we just collide? Was it a left hook? I knew it. She's got a good left hook. I should have blocked it. That's all right. Oh no, no. Blood is fine. So you tell me. <laughs> I'm sure he was. 
<laughs> uh, we're all savages. We, I come from a savage training camp, and uh, you know, it's nothing new. I, I had my bone pop out, and I, I was like, "Give me the tape! I want to keep fighting." <laughs> yeah. I wouldn't. I don't want to consider it a loss. Um, it's a fluke. Uh, I, I, there's no honor in that win, um, so I, I would expect my my opponent or whoever wins that way to not consider it. Um, so I don't know. I, but you know, it's on my record, and kudos to her. Oh, <laughs> you got to stay away from the walls. Anything that's not secure, stay away from it. Stand, uh, cover your head. Um, do not run, do not move, you just want to like cover yourself. Um, don't go outside because you don't know about the structural integrity of the walls or anything. If you're driving, stop because you don't know if there's any liquefaction, there'll be any sinkholes or anything. So, Sinkholes? Um, yeah, 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 it's pretty terrifying. So, um, You just want to be aware on what to do, especially in earthquake country here in California. So. Nope, gotta go to work. I have a dentist appointment on Monday, so. <laughs> yeah. Last one about the eye. When you the position of the eye, was there any sense of urgency when you felt the blood there that maybe you had to move up your, your gait because of where the position was? That was if you didn't want to stop the fight or anything? Was there any worries of where the cut was? If anyone would have tried to stop me, I would have punched them. <laughs> so, I, no, I, I, I wasn't worried. Blood doesn't bother me. I, um, I would have just rubbed it all over my face and like battle, you know, like come at me. <laughs> but no. yeah, <laughs> maybe I would have gotten like performance of the night if I'd done that. <laughs> but yeah, thank you guys. Thank you all for all the questions. Um, are we good? All right, cool. Thank you guys. God bless.